We shall move to questions without notice. I give the call to the Honourable, the Leader of the Opposition. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Prime Minister, what is the total cost of the government's energy plan and what will the capacity investment scheme cost taxpayers? <laughs> order. Order. Members, on, order. Members on my right will cease interjecting before the Prime Minister begins his answer. Order. The member for Benelong will cease interjecting. Give the call. The member for Bruce will leave the chamber under 94A. We're not off to a good start. Every time before a minister will answer the question, including the Prime Minister, there will be silence. Give the call to the Prime Minister. Thanks very much, Mr Speaker. Well, you've got to hand it to the Leader of the Opposition. At a time when the rest of us are working to get power bills down, he's picked the one option guaranteed to push power prices up. Order. Push power Order. prices up. The, the economics of nuclear affairs. do not stack up. That doesn't worry those opposite. They spent a decade in power without a single surplus and then left Order. Australia with a trillion dollars of debt. Order. But the Leader of the Opposition is offering a blank piece of paper, demanding a blank cheque to pay for it. Demanding a blank cheque. Three days of questions. Order. The, the, the Prime, Prime Minister will pause. The Leader of the Opposition will raise his point of order. Mr Speaker, uh, the question was very tight, uh, deliberately so. Um, under the standing orders, if the Prime Minister doesn't know the answer, he could take it on notice, he could come back and provide advice, but I seek your ruling in relation to relevance as to whether the Prime Minister is being relevant to the very tight question he was asked, which was, what is the total system cost of the government's energy plan and what will the capacity investment scheme cost taxpayers? Yeah, the Prime Minister has had about 45 seconds of a preamble, but he's not entitled to base his answer just about the opposition's policy because that was an order. I don't need sound effects. <laughs> the Prime Minister is going to have to return to the government's energy policy, not just talk about the opposition's policies. Because he has the call. We do have a plan on this side of the House. Yeah. It's a plan that's been Order. legislated. A plan for net zero by 2050. Yeah. A plan for a 43 per cent reduction by 2030. Yeah. The capacity investment scheme to drive investment in renewables. The safeguard mechanism that was, that was thought of by former Minister Greg Hunt, but which we have legislated as well. And the reason why we have done that is because we know that the cheapest form of new energy is renewables. Is renewables. And, and Mr Speaker, Australia is home to some of the greatest sources of renewable energy in the world. Sunshine, Order. wind, the leader of the nationals, the and the leader of the opposition's anger and negativity. <laughs> a great source, a great source of renewable energy, Mr Order. Speaker, that has no end, that's used every single day. We saw, we saw, it, we saw it when last week he made an announcement and then three days later he just gave a speech to the Liberal Party Council full of, full of abuse. Order. The Prime Minister will order. The Prime Minister will pause. We're going to hear the Minister for Infrastructure will cease rejecting. We'll hear from the Manager of Opposition Business. Well, uh, Mr Speaker, standing on a 91C, a member's conduct is disorderly if they willfully refuse to conform to a standing order. You rightly uh, directed the Prime Minister on relevance earlier, but he's continuing to flout your ruling. Well, let, let me just give the House some, some assistance. If everyone could just take down the temperature on this, issue, on this um, question, it'll enable me to hear the Prime Minister. He knows he can't talk about simply... He can do some compare and contrasting regarding his energy plan, but. I'm going to listen carefully to make sure that he keep, sticks to the question that he was asked about. And our plan is working. We've seen, we've seen a 25 per cent increase 
and renewables in the grid, Mr Speaker. The highest uptake in the world Order. of rooftop solar, record investment in batteries and storage, and wholesale power prices that have dropped almost $300 a megawatt hour since we came to office. Almost $300 per megawatt hour. We've already added 8.5 gigawatts. They can't say how many gigawatts. They, they can't say how many reactors. They can't say how much gigawatts. And more than 50 renewable projects have been approved and up to power 3 million homes.